去啊。After weeks of back and forth, we now know whether or not iPads are going to stay in classrooms throughout the LA USD. Board members voted last night to continue the rollout of those tablets. But that approval comes with a whole lot of changes. KT Laser Spillman is live from LAUSD headquarters in downtown LA with those details. She got the iPad. And my iPad. Yeah. yeah, and I feel bad about my iPad. I don't have enough apps. <laughs> you know? When you don't have enough apps, you actually have like pages and pages of apps. I don't have that many. I need to buy some apps. I'm lacking in the app department. All right, let's talk about the uh, iPads here for the LA Unified School District. Uh, the LA School Board has voted to go ahead with phase two of handing out iPads to students, but the goal of making sure every student has a tablet has been delayed by about a year or so. Now, the original plan was for every kid, something like 600,000 LA Unified School District students, to be able to have an iPad within, let's say, by the end of the 2000s, 2014 school year. That was going to cost a billion dollars. And then we heard about all these problems. High school kids who got them this year hacked through the security so they could go on sites like Facebook and YouTube. Critics started complaining about the district's deal with Apple. The district is paying $678 for each iPad, which comes loaded with software. Some board members said that's just too much money. But last night after a debate, the board eventually decided to move ahead with phase two. They're going to buy another 70,000 iPads for 35 schools this year. Then they're going to see how this whole thing is working. They're going to look at the impact that the iPads are having on education. And then the plan is to decide again on phase three, which would mean handing out tablets for every student by the end of 2015. So it's a little bit of a delay, but we spoke to the superintendent just a few minutes ago, and he's still sold on iPads because he says students need this technology. Students will enter a workforce in schools for jobs that haven't even been described and founded yet uh, that will require levels of technology that you and I are not confident in. That's exactly what we're doing. All right, so he says that he is still confident that the iPads are the way to go. He says he doesn't think that I'm confident in the technology of an iPad or that we are both not confident. I don't know about him, but let me tell you, can he do something like this? Huh? There you go. Huh? Good stuff. Wait, what are you what doing? doing? Wait, well, how confident was I? I gotta show you the actual screen. Yeah, well, what are you talking about? You're going well. Oh, oh there you go. There you go. <laughs> See? I was exactly. confident after my second try. Is that, was that one of your apps? One of your limited apps? That, that comes preloaded on. Oh, yeah, you could do some cool stuff on this one. Yeah, That's I can tell you a lot. Southern California teenager says he gets a shock every time he reaches for his Xbox. He also says he's shocked by the way Microsoft's customer service is handling his complaint.